Hey, I'm Tara and I formulate skincare products. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment down below. We're gonna be doing another beginner friendly recipe today. And this recipe is a jelly face scrub. So it's got a really gorgeous jelly texture and the exfoliation comes from the bamboo stem powder, which is a really, really fine powder that will just gently exfoliate your skin so this scrub is perfect for the face. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon, where I recently shared my creamy lip scrub formula, a glycolic acid scrub, great for the face, a cherry rose facial scrub, and literally 90 plus other exclusive formulas. And some are just videos that maybe are just like experiments, but there's 90 exclusive videos over on my Patreon that you guys can go binge watch for only $5 a month, including my creamy lip scrub formula in case you missed that. And just all other kinds of important information that's highly requested, like a video on EcoCert preservatives. So go check that out. My Patreon will be linked in my description box. So let's get back into the video. We're gonna first start with phase A, which includes combining xanthan gum and glycerin. So you wanna combine the xanthan gum and glycerin first because when xanthan gum comes in contact with water, it clumps. So mixing it with glycerin will help prevent that. We're gonna be using eight grams of xanthan gum soft. If you use any other grade xanthan gum, like from Amazon or something, it might make the product more stringy and gummy. And then I'm gonna add in 40 grams of glycerin, and this is a humectant, this will help hydrate the skin. And then moving on to phase B, the first thing you wanna add in in phase B is 334 grams of distilled water, because you wanna pour that in and then mix everything together and let it thicken and gel before adding in everything else. Because like I said, xanthan gum is the gelling agent, so this is going to thicken and gel the water. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my preservative. This is Liquid Dermal Plus, and I'm gonna use two grams of it. This is the easiest preservative to use for beginners, so if you're a beginner, I recommend this preservative. And now let's talk about bamboo stem powder. So I purchased mine from Making Cosmetics. It's the only place I've found it, so if you purchase it somewhere else, let me know down in the comments. And this stuff is super, super fine. It's a powder. So I'm trying to show you guys like what it looks like here. Like look at how fine this stuff is. So it's extremely mild and gentle, which makes it perfect for the face. And I do wanna mention, you can't use salt or sugar in this product because salt or sugar is water soluble and will dissolve. So that's why we're using 16 grams of bamboo stem powder. This stuff won't dissolve in water. And you wanna make sure you get it all mixed in very well because it does like to settle to the top. And in the end, you'll end up with a consistency, something like this. It'll be a nice thick gel. So I checked the pH of my product, which is 9.86, and that is just way too high. Our skin's natural pH is between 4.5 and 5.5, so we do need to lower the pH. And I'll show you guys how to make a pH buffer to lower the pH. You're going to need 50% citric acid with 50% distilled water. So you can do equal parts citric acid to distilled water. I always like to do 50 grams of citric acid and 50 grams of distilled water. Here I'm using a plastic bottle, but I always use a glass bottle now. This is some old footage I'm reusing. And I place a funnel in it. I pour in 50 grams of citric acid and then 50 grams of distilled water, shake it up, and I wait for it to dissolve. You wanna wait until it's clear like this before you use it. And you also wanna put a date on your bottle. You can keep this for about a month. You don't need to preserve it. So I take this and I ended up adding in just 14 drops using a little dropper of the citric acid pH buffer into my jelly mask. And that got the pH down to 4.72. Again, our skin's natural pH is between 4.5 and 5.5. So you wanna pH somewhere between there. And I do have a video all about pH, why it's important, how to check pH, how to lower pH, how to raise pH. So I'll link that video down below so you guys can learn more about pH because if you want to formulate skincare products, it's super important to understand that. Alrighty, so I went ahead and divided my jelly mask into six different beakers so I can color them six different colors to make things more fun here. I'm using this water soluble coloring. I don't remember where it's from, but I will link it down below. I'll link all these colors individually in the description box so you guys can purchase them. These colors are so fun and easy to use because you just have to add a couple drops into any water-based formula and they just mix right in. It's so much easier than using mica powder, although mica powder does work in this product, 
you will want to add the mica powder in phase A. If you add the mica powder in at the end, it tends to clump up. It can work, but it most likely will clump and then it'll just be a pain to try to mix in. So mix it into phase A if you're using mica powder. So yeah, all you do is just add a couple drops, mix it in, and there you go. Now you have some beautifully colored jelly face scrubs. For packaging, I'm gonna be using these two ounce glass jars. I'll link down below to some similar ones. I'll be sure to link to all the equipment, all the tools, all the ingredients. Everything I'm using in this video will be linked down in my description box, even all my filming equipment. I'm always asked where I buy things. Everything's always linked in the description box for you guys. But yeah, here is the total formula for you guys and a 400 gram recipe. And I hope you guys enjoyed this super simple beginner friendly formula. And if you guys want to put any labels on your products, I do have a video on my channel all about how I make labels. I show how to make these clear labels, which are waterproof, oilproof, and scratch resistant. And I show you guys how to make labels with white backgrounds that are also oilproof, waterproof, and scratch resistant. That video will be linked down in the description box. I'll also link to any other important videos that I recommend you guys watching, and I'll link to my website and my Patreon where you guys can watch two exclusive videos every single month. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you guys watch this video all the way through. If you did watch it all the way through, comment Luna down below. L-U-N-A. That's my cat's name. She says hi. All right, I'll talk to you guys next time. Later.